Hey everybody, this is Matt with Shaving the Day, and we're going to be doing another shave video. Um, today, I am going to be using my Parker SRW Shave At, and this is the first time on my channel that I have used a Shave At. Um, it's the first time that I've used it in a few weeks, and I'm definitely not experienced with it. We're going to see how this goes. Um, if it doesn't go well, if I start cutting myself, then I'm going to switch over to the Gillette Fat Boy, which has a Rapira, uh, excuse me, Rapira blade in it. Um, and you know what, actually, I think I'm just going to be doing probably my cheeks with this, uh, just because it's been a while and I'm still working on the technique. Maybe, maybe I will venture to my neck area a little bit if I feel like things are going well. But if things go south, no problem. I'll just switch over to the Fat Boy and finish it up from there. I normally do not shave two days in a row just to allow my face some time to heal from any irritation or anything like that. But I figured since I only have one day's growth, it might be a good time to use the Shave At and um, just see how it goes. And then you guys are more than welcome to give me any tips because honestly, I need them. Uh, I've been told this is one of the most unforgiving shavettes that you can use, and so what better shavette to practice with then? Um, I mean, if it's unforgiving, then I'm going to learn real quick when I get cut what not to do, um, and I'm hoping that over time as I continue to use it, I will improve my technique and be able to do perform a whole shave with it. <clears throat> so we'll see how that goes. I'm going to be using my Maggard's Blue Handled Synthetic Brush and kind of going with a blue theme here today. I will be trying out the Razor Rock Blue Barbershop What the Puck. This is the blue label. Um, has a nice like oceanic barbershop scent. Um, just really enjoy it. It's fresh. I think it will pair well with this Parasso Green pre-shave. Um, which I definitely want to try and use to um, hopefully help my Shavette shave. And I'll be pairing it with Aqua Velva Classic Blue Aftershave. It's a hot day today, so some menthol might be kind of nice. Um, but I will get started by wetting my face, and then we'll go into the pre-shave. Alright guys, this is my first time using this Parasso Green pre-shave, but I've heard a lot of really good things about it. Um, so I'm hoping that it will help me a smoother shave. I just got a little bit on my finger, rub that between my hands, start massaging it into my face. And I'm actually going to need a little more than that. And I can tell right away that this has a good amount of menthol in it, which is nice. It's not too much. Alright, hopefully those whiskers are nice and hydrated. And... Since this is a puck, I'm just going to lather right off the puck and then do a face lather. Let me wet the brush real quick. All right, I'm just going to lather right here on this puck. Never used a Razor Rock soap before, so this will be my first experience with their base. But I have heard a lot of good things. Lots of soap coming right off this puck here. And I've got a lot of soap in the brush, so I'll just start to face lather.
And this definitely needs some more water in it, so I'm gonna wipe the brush. That's much better. Really nice, clean, fresh scent to that soap. Okay, just a little more water. And that didn't take long at all. Um, just maybe 20, 30 seconds of swirling on the puck. You have a nice, thick lather right here like this. Yeah, that's very slick. All right, wash up here really quick. All right, guys, I am definitely a little nervous to try this again. Uh, I'm just gonna try to keep an open mind, and if I get cut a few times, then I get a cut, get cut a few times, and I'll just move on. You know, you live and you learn. Um, right now I can feel the menthol tingling my face. It feels very, very refreshing. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like extreme menthol, but this is like the perfect amount. So I'm happy with that. But all right, I'm just gonna start on the cheeks here. To make sure I stretch the skin a lot. Sometimes tend to forget that. It's probably one of the most important parts. And I have bloodied myself with this razor a few times and actually have a scar on this cheek that I'm doing right now from it. So. We'll see. So far, so good right there. Now, you know, I definitely would need another pass, but no cuts or nicks or anything. I'll rinse the blade off real quick. And you know what? Switching hands is what really makes me nervous. Is I want to practice with both hands and be ambidextrous with it because it's just easier, oh, well, not easier, but you really can increase your skill with shaving if you do that. And I don't want to have to rely on one hand solely, so using my left hand makes me a little nervous because I broke, I majorly broke two fingers on the hand and went through months of occupational therapy and two surgeries which left me with a very not very but definitely a, a shaky hand and my right hand is much steadier let's see how i'm doing there i think i did okay fair amount of stubble on the uh, soap here um not perfect you know I'm not cutting every hair I don't have the perfect angle the whole time but it's just about technique and practice 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 which is all I'm going for here I'm not expecting perfection um, I think I might try a little bit on my neck here um, but we'll see if I get a cut or something I might stop all right so far the soap and the pre-shave seem to be doing pretty well on my face let me just add some soap to my neck and cheeks here. Make sure that I have a good base layer there. And then I'll try to do a little bit on my neck. So, let's see. I'm hesitant to talk while I'm while I have a razor.
razor blade on my throat. Right there, where my Adam's, Adam's apple kind of juts out. And it's like not a smooth section of my neck. It's kind of just like there's my Adam's apple coming out in this direction, my neck going in that direction. It's hard with this blade to get that spot without cutting myself because it's not smooth. And, you know, I can stretch the skin and that helps, but it is a tricky, tricky area. Trying to go with very light pressure. And you know what? I, I think I did okay there. I didn't get every hair. It definitely would need another pass. But it's just about beard reduction and practicing the technique. Let's try this side. You know what? I'm actually happy with how that went from my left hand. Um, I'm definitely expecting some irritation on my neck. You know, I have not had a single irritation-free shave with this thing, um, and I don't expect one anytime soon. But I'm happy with how that went right there. So let me get the middle. Use my right hand for this. You know what? This isn't really going too bad. I'm happy with how it's been going. Um, I'm going to use my fat boy around my mustache and goatee area because I just don't trust myself with the shave out there yet. I'm going to add a little more soap here. And I have this on a setting three. How is everyone's week going? Let me know in the comments what you've been up to, if you've done anything exciting. Uh, I'm just curious how you guys have been um, in the past week or so. Does anyone have any vacations planned? Uh, my fiance and I are planning a trip to France in uh, October. We had a United credit come back to us because we had a family trip planned to Peru, um, but then with COVID that had to be changed because if we were to go there we would have had to quarantine for 14 days so we are now using it for france in october so i'm really excited about that i have to brush up on my french i don't really know much um, but i love learning languages and i'm fluent in spanish so I'm sure with some practice I could, you know, at least get around with some basic phrases and, you know, maybe be able to order food or something like that or coffee. Um, so that would be nice. Alright, that's very smooth with the 
the Rapira blade. I haven't really tried Rapira very many times, but I like it in the Fat Boy. And on setting three, that feels pretty good. All right. And I think I, I think I will still try my neck with the Shavet, um, even against the grain, as for some reason that seems to be even a little easier than with the grain for me. I gotta be careful I don't push too hard or go over the same spot too many times though. I'm actually really, really enjoying this soap. I can't really smell the scent super strongly. It's not like a 10 out of 10 scent strength. It'd be probably more like a five or a six, but you know, that's nice. Sometimes you don't want something too potent. Get a little more water on the brush. feels pretty good. All right. I'm just going to go against the grain on my cheeks. I'm not even going to bother with across the grain. Normally for um, across the grain, I've just gone, or sorry, against the grain. I've just held it like a commissory Japanese style shave it, and that seemed to work okay. So I'm going to stick with that. I'm not expecting a perfectly smooth shave. Just trying to do what I can. And I realize this is probably not, no, it's certainly not proper technique, but it's what I'm comfortable with right now. So I'm going to do what I'm comfortable with. And you can butcher me in the comments all you want. All right, let's go against the green on the neck. I actually do use my right hand for this part of the neck. It's just easier. Not bad. I think I'm going to leave it at that, even though I can still feel some stubble there. I'm not trying to go over it too many times. almost bit myself right there. I 
think I may have done just a tiny little cut right there. There we go. Sometimes I remove too much of the shaving soap and then I go over a spot that doesn't have very much and it doesn't end well. When in doubt, I should definitely relather. Not bad, you know what? I'm happy with that and I'm just gonna settle for that. So I will rinse my face and neck and then I will come back with the, um, the aftershave splash after the post shave routine. All right guys, I am back with the aftershave splash. Um, as you can see, there's a cut right there and right there and some irritation, but really, really very minor, especially for me not having used the shave yet in quite a while um, and I'm not gonna why it's definitely not the smoothest shave I've ever gotten or the closest or anything close to that, but I am happy with it. Um, you know, any progress is good progress and I will continue practicing and you guys can let me know any tips that you have. Um, but yeah, I just hope to continue to use it, you know, every few shaves or so and um, we'll see where it goes from there. But let's put on some of this Aqua Velva Splash. Ooh, it's definitely burning on my neck. I always get shave that irritation on my neck. Probably, almost certainly from pushing too hard. But the menthol is kicking in with a nice burn and it feels great. Um, like I said, it's a hot day today, so it's just a nice um, little touch to the shave. And I'm happy with it. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.